presenting the sink that I've selected for the conversion van. It's a rather large sink. It measures 22 by 25, nine and a half inches deep. I selected this sink because it's stainless steel and it has a ledge so that we can put a cutting board across it. This sink is so large that we'll have almost no counter space, but the sink itself will be our counter space. And you'll see that in a minute. You'll see I have no regular faucet. I don't think one's necessary. I have the reverse osmosis spigot, which will provide us with purified water. And I have the sprayer, which will provide us with a nice spray to be able to do our dishes. This sprayer is unique because if I lift the lever backwards, it will give us constant water. So if I want to fill up the sink, I would just use this sprayer. So I actually don't see any real need for a standard faucet. This is water that's coming directly from the fresh water tank. This is drinking water that goes through the reverse osmosis filter system. The sink comes with a little stainless steel catch for inside the drain. Also comes with an infinity cover. It has a little rack that you can put in the bottom if you're afraid about scratching the bottom of your sink. Comes with a stainless steel drying rack to dry your dishes. Comes with a colander so that you can rinse out your vegetables. Also came with a cutting board. The dimensions are almost exact to buy a plastic high density polypropylene cutting board that will fit in right in the top. That way you can have a complete counter space. I could buy another one of these and replace the wooden one when the wooden one deteriorates. I can also take this out. Put in my colander. Now I can take this out and put in the drying rack. Very convenient and versatile sink. You can see here I added a PEX pipe to where there was only a stub before when I was talking about the recirculating shower system. Well, that PEX pipe now runs down to a flexible pipe into another C-Flow motor. Notice that C-Flow motor has a small sediment filter attached to it to protect the motor. That's provided by C-Flow. Then as we go under the sink frame that I put together, you'll see that there is a check valve so water doesn't flow backwards for any reason. Then it enters into an adapter that brings it down to quarter inch tubing. This tube right here goes right up to the sink, right up to the sprayer. The red hose goes to the reverse osmosis water filtration system, which you see right here. I've had several reverse osmosis water systems in my homes over the years. The one I purchased from the van, I bought off Amazon from a company called Express Water. It is by far the best unit I've ever purchased. It had the best instructions 
and was almost completely assembled when I pulled it out of the box. It included extra seal clips and extra o-rings. Each one of the filter housings is double sealed with two o-rings. There was a lot of thought done to make sure that the customer knew step by step how to install this in their home. It had a full color 10 or 12 page manual showing you how to hook up each and every one of the tubes and wires. Uh, it was excellent. This is not a paid endorsement. I was just amazed at how well this was put together. Um, so I highly recommend them. It wasn't more expensive or less expensive. It was about the same. This reverse osmosis water system has a UV sterilizer. Again, that has to plug in into the inverter and runs off 110 volts. It's a very low amperage uh, system. It's basically just lighting a UV light bulb. I did make a change to the reverse osmosis water system. When water goes through the reverse osmosis process to provide you with purified water, it's going to lose some water. So for every gallon that you gain in purified water, you might lose a gallon or gallon and a half to wastewater. And you may not be able to do that when you're traveling around in your van. But if you get water off of the side of the road, off a creek, or someplace where you're not real sure about the quality of the water, you would want to put it through this reverse osmosis system to make sure it's pure and drinkable. Now, most of the time, I'm going to be getting water from a municipal hose, um, a friend or family's hose, or someplace that I have a little bit of trust in the water. Then I can just send it through the filters and the UV sterilizer and not send it through the reverse osmosis system. That way I'll maintain 100% of the water that's in my tanks. So to do that, I modified this a little bit. It was extremely easy to do. All I did was add some on-off valves. So the way it's set up right now, this valve is closed and this valve is open, which means the water is now going through the reverse osmosis system, purifying the water and filling this tank. If I close this switch, and open this one. Now you can see it moving. Now the water is going only through the filters and into this tank. And it will continue to vibrate like that until this reaches 55 pounds of pressure. If I flip them both off, now no water is going to flow at all. But while I'm here at home, and I have an unlimited water supply, I'll run it through the reverse osmosis system to be sure I have clean, pure water.